five a piece. Which one would you like, sir? This one? Or this one? A curse on you, man! Hello. I see you have a stiff one with you. What the fuck are you? Is that your usual chat up line? You get kicks out of that, do you? Dressed up like that? Driving around, flirting with blokes? I should report you to the police. I should report you to your boss. I've got to flatten you in a minute. Oh, stay away from me, you fucking pervert. Says the man who was willing to stop off in the woods for a blowjob without even consulting your unfortunate passenger. I can't believe I felt for it. Convincing, aren't I? It's something I've wanted to do all my life, you know. What are you going on about? This, let my hair down, have a bit of fun. Throw caution to the wind and do as one pleases rather than what one is expected to do. Now you should try it. Might bring some joy into that sorry life of yours. Nah, you're the one with a sorry life. Not anymore. I bet you're a faggot, a fun bandit, a shit stabber. I bet you're a pervert, a virgin, a peeping Tom. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Come, baby, come, baby. All the way. Don't stop. Come on, baby. It's what I've been waiting for. Come on, baby, please. Come on. I'm not here. Leave a message. Kevin, it's Mum again. We were hoping to see you at the funeral last week. Oh, fuck! People like you should be strung up by the balls and shot. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Shit, you cats! It's Georgina to you. Oh no! I'm coming! <laughs> so you bloody right. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh god help me. Why should he? 
This is your bloody fault. Just be thankful it floats. It's too far out. I can't swim, I'll bloody drown, that's for sure. And that would be bad because... I'm supposed to be preparing this old bastard in just over an hour. All his family are waiting at the church. Oh, yeah. The vultures at the feast. You made sure of that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Do you really love me? Truly? For who I am? Not for, not for my body, not for all the inheritance. Of course not. You're the most beautiful, intelligent woman I've ever met. I'll get you anything, sir. No, we'll be going to the church shortly. Just some fresh air. Why don't you try taking her into the chapel garden? I'm sure you can give her some out there. Farewell, my You got me into this mess, you freak! You know, for a man of your profession, you have a healthy disrespect for the living as well as the dead. If I had my way, it'd be you in that poxy coffin. You'd better hurry up. It's drifting away. I suppose you haven't got another now, file. No. I bet he wasn't expecting a burial at sea. It's not funny, you know. Do you think he'll be missed? Not by his bloody wife, that's for sure. Or his stepbrother. <laughs> so what about you? Will there be somebody who misses you when your time comes? Only the fucking bailiffs. Oh, stop this thing. Yeah. Try picking it. The lock. You owe me one. Oi, no funny business. In your dreams. So, tell me, why did you end up so fucked up then? Not fucked up. Just the usual for a mixed up closet case. A sham of a marriage. Unrequited love. Broken heart. Broken hearts. You wouldn't know what that felt like, would you? It was my first love. It was forbidden love. His world was very different from mine. But both our cultures shared the same hatred of what was to us natural love. Well, you're a fool to fall in love. I ended the relationship. Did what I was expected to do. Marry, take on the business, continue the family name. Or try to. Make everyone else's life as miserable as mine. Well, that's families for you. Don't talk to me about families. I didn't even shed a single tear when my old man died. You know what? I didn't even go to the funeral. So, we do have something in common. What do you mean? The pain and regret we both have in our lives. Except, now only one of us has the chance to change that. Fine, be yourself in that bloody dress. But don't go around harassing innocent blokes in order to do so. Yes! Yes! Well, we'll be off now. It's been, um, different meeting you. Fun, wasn't it? Glad you think so. Now, if you just excuse me, old Mouldy here's got an appointment with the almighty nothing in just over half an hour. Don't you want to hear the end of my story, then? Not really. Not interested in what happened to the man I jilted, Wesley, who wanted to be an artist. No. no. How his Jamaican family disowned him when they found out about it. How he never forgave me. 
and became a broken shell of the man. Out on the streets. A curse on your man! Do you know why I'm really here today, Kevin? Huh? Queen Elizabeth I. The final word she spoke on her deathbed in 1603. Everything I own for a moment's more time. And in her last few minutes of life, the great woman was willing to give up everything. Her whole kingdom and all its riches. For the greatest asset of them all. Time. Shit, the water's coming in. Oh. Hey. Georgina, help me! I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. I just have, you asshole. Nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died, so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. You know, for a man of your profession, you have a healthy disrespect for the living as well as the dead. If I had my way, it'd be you in that poxy coffin. So, we do have something in common. The pain and regret we both have in our lives, except now only one of us has the chance to change that. We have come here today to remember before God our brother George. At times like this, it's very difficult, particularly in times of a sudden and tragic death, to acknowledge the fact that there are many unanswered questions about George's life and his death. Hello, Wesley, my old mate. What do you want from me? How much do you want for that one? Whatever you think is worth. Deal? Mum, it's Kevin. Well, about bloody time. 